My name is Quentin Stokes from Elementary Technology. I'm one of the education technology consultants for Smart's number one reseller in the UK. Many of our Smart customers will be familiar with the award-winning software solution from Smart Technologies, that is Notebook. Um, but many of them also not so familiar with Smart Learning Suite Online. So I'm going to get you started today and show you how to uh, get a free license for that and to get logged on and to begin to start working with that and perhaps doing some online work with your students. So here we go. Let's just minimize that for a moment and take you into the Smart website. As you can see up here, this is from Smart Technologies. The URL is go.smarttech.com forward slash distance learning. And you can see in the middle of your screen there, it says create a free SLSO account. This account is free at the moment for six months and is uh, part of Smart's commitment to support their online community with distance learning in these interesting times. Very simple form to fill out, pop it all in there, and you can start straight away. I already have uh, something ready of my own, so I can pop here, uh, get the right uh, package up, let's stop. So once you have your license, you just need to go to Hello Smart com no www dot or anything like that and you'll end up at something that looks like this perhaps if you do and you want to join as a teacher it's really simple just go up to the url here delete all the way back to the beginning student and hit enter this will take you to the main signing screen and you can see that I'm already logged in. You can see here is the main signing screen from hellosmart.com. If you're not taken here straight away or something odd happens, perhaps it thinks you're a student or that have you, what have you, just make sure that you've got the right URL as you can see that I'm highlighting here. Just copy and paste that um, and then it'll bring you back to this screen here. So you just sign in by clicking on that button there. At the moment you can see it's saying I'm signing with this account. This happens to be my Microsoft 365 account, but you can also give them the option to use a Google account if you would rather. And it'll ask for your email address and your sign in, as you can see here, my password. Because I've been to Smart before, it's remembering that at the moment. And you can see fairly quickly, it will log me into my SLSO, Smart Learning Suite Online home page. The home page is uh, your space. And here you can upload Smart Notebooks. You can upload PowerPoints, PDFs, and then you can share those with your students or your colleagues. Um, and all that they need is a internet device that runs a web browser. It's completely hardware agnostic. Doesn't matter whether you're running a Mac or whether you're running PC. Doesn't matter at all. Um, browser wise, a smart recommend Chrome. Um, but I've used this with uh, Safari and um, uh, the Microsoft uh, version as well. But I've also used this with Safari and uh, Firefox as well. But um, for now, I'm using Chrome as that smart, smart preferred uh, browser. Just looking around here, you can see a few buttons and I'm going to run through a few of those now. Um, over here is my kind of login and profile button. And some nice help sort of menu things there. We can sign out and tell me what's new and so on. This is quite important, this bit here that I'm sort of dragging and dropping over here. You can see underneath my name is my class ID, 652557. That is fixed for as long as I want it to be. 
if I encounter some problems, maybe some students perhaps get hold of the ID and start using it for themselves, and I want to keep it to mine, I can change that, I can edit class and get a new ID, but I find it quite useful to keep it. As you can see here, under the edit class, I can reset the class ID, and that will give me a completely new six digit number. I can also rename my class, and as you can see, edit class banner here. Um, uploading is very straightforward. It's under the Add Activities button here. And if I click on that, Smart always tries to be helpful and tells you what you can upload. Here you can see by clicking on this button, I can upload notebooks, PowerPoints, and PDFs. I can upload YouTube. Um, these are activity templates. For those of you that are slightly more advanced Smart users, You'll recognize this uh, little alien button here, and that's the activities button in Smart Notebook. And under Smart SLS Online, you can have a shouted out activity, and you can also use the response activity. I've already uploaded some things. Um, most of these are Smart Notebook files. Uh, this top one here I did this morning, that's a PDF. Um, I'm not gonna do it now, as it can take two or three minutes, depending on how big the file is and uh, your broadband speed. Interesting new feature, actually, it's only been going a few weeks, is this bit down here. Uh, this uh, is where Smart are beginning to add in helpful online resources where you can learn about getting started with Smart Learning Suite. Um, you can go a bit more into student-based and teacher-based activities and that sort of thing. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to run through a couple of things for you now. So to open up an activity, get it ready for use with my students, um, I'm going to open up this one. And you can see here again, I can start or edit. I'm just going to click start for the moment. And this takes me into my online screen that uh, allows me now to share this with my students. Get back to where I was, press the home button, that takes me back to my home page where I've just come from. The next useful button is this one here, which is the sort of student teacher button. And I've got things here like teacher paste and student paste, and I'll explain those in a moment or two. Um, here again is my class ID. People often ask for this because they lose connection or they log out and come back in. And rather than having to go back to my home screen the whole time to get it and stop the activity for everybody, I can just click on this button here and it's there for, for you and to share that with everybody. Um, so once we've got students logged in, I can now begin to share this with them. 